the Texans lost again. 0-3 to start the season. I mean, what else can you say? In terms of talent, this team is a top three Texan team all time, along with the 2011-2012 team. But th this team's not good, man. And I mean, credit to the Giants. They had their game plan. You know, they executed it. Quick passes, slants to their talented receivers to neutralize the Texans' pass rush. In the second half, it kind of slowed down, but they did have a game-ending drive, pretty much. So, I mean, credit to them. But the Texans... This is a coaching problem, man. And I, I know some people are going to want to blame the O-line, Deshaun Watson, for some reason. But th this is play calling, man. It, for the whole first half, literally, what O'Brien was doing, a run on first down, no gain. On second down, either a run or an incomplete pass. And then you're left on third and long situations. Third and eight, most of the time it felt like we were in. And as an NFL quarterback, it's hard to get rhythm like that. Like, you just can't, man. Like, he's asking Deshaun Watson to pretty much bail him out every single drive, <laughs> I don't think a single quarterback can do that, man. Like, it 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 sucks. Like, Watson has been the winner all all his life, man. And then he comes to this franchise and he just can't win because of things that aren't on him. And I know, you know, as far as the offensive line, yes, it was bad. Especially the tackles, man. Davenport, he... Oh, my God. He is terrible. Rankin got ran over a couple times on two bull rushes. And I think it might have been the same drive that happened. But, I mean... It's on O'Brien, man. Like... Yes, we know our offensive tackles suck. But... You're, you're putting your team in a situation where they're they're not going to succeed you're, you're putting them in a third and long situation to where the offensive line is going to have to block for an extended period of time and you know obviously that's not going to work you, you got to scheme to your players man like you can't put your players to fit your scheme you got to scheme to your players with what you have you got to go with you gotta work with what you have. And I, I feel like in the past, 14 and 2015, O'Brien did that. But, you know, that, that was then. This is now. And it's just not working. And, you know, he's gotta go. But he's just gotta go. I mean, like, seriously, how do you go from averaging 38 points per game last season with Deshaun Watson to. Struggling to even put up 10. Like, it's solely on O'Brien. You, you, you can blame players, you can blame talent, but this team's talented, man. Like, it, it sucks, but it, it just, it's what it is, man. Like, O'Brien's gotta go. But unfortunately, as much as I want him gone right now, at this moment, as much as I want to wake up tomorrow morning, and have a notification on my phone that says O'Brien's fired. I, I just can't. And it's not because I don't want O'Brien gone. I want O'Brien gone by the end of the season. But Romeo Cornell is going to be the interim head coach. I'm scared that Romeo Cornell is going to do good with this team. But Romeo Cornell is not a good head coach. It's been proven before. I, I don't want Cornell being our head coach. I don't. And as far as the season goes, it, it's over. Like, hate to say it, it's over. Is 
it's just is what it is, man. It's over. As far as the game goes, offensive line again struggled. Run game couldn't get going. Lamar Miller, I thought, played probably his worst game in his Texan career. He had that garbage time touchdown, but he had a crucial fumble in the fourth quarter. O line again couldn't get the run game going. Tackles weren't so good. Especially Davenport, he had like what five penalties today. Like you can't win like that, man. Defense started off really, 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 really bad. They couldn't tackle Barkley. They couldn't stop any of the receivers. Second half starts up. And then, you know, we finally start getting some pressure. I mean, we stopped the Giants like four straight drives. And on the last drive the Giants got the you know typical Texans fashion they choked and you know let the Giants drive down the field Sat Cunningham had a terrible game a really bad game Kareem Jackson got burnt by Odell Beckham the, 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 the whole secondary besides maybe Tyron Matthew looked terrible Honestly, the only good players today were J.J. and Tyron Matthew, man. Like, everyone else struggled. Like, literally everyone on that defense struggled except for those first four drives in the second half. But, I mean, J.J. Watt, I mean, at least one good thing that comes out of this game JJ Watt looked like JJ Watt again I mean three sacks like seven quarterback hits a bunch of tackles for a loss the forced fumble JJ looked dominant again but I mean what, what does that really matter man like season's lost at 0-3 you're not gonna climb out of it can the Texans fix their issues I don't know I mean I, I mean, I'm sorry if I sound sad, but there was high expectations for the season, and look where we're at, 0-3. So, some fans were predicting the Texans go 13-3, and <laughs> and here we are, 0-3. I have zero faith in this team moving forward throughout the season, and I know some of you guys are going to say, well, we're screwed. O'Brien signed a four-year contract. Guys, coaching contracts do not matter. They don't. O'Brien could get fired tomorrow for all that matters. Coaching contracts don't matter. That They get fired a year after they sign their contract all the time. So don't, don't worry about that. If the Texans continue to suck, which they probably will, O'Brien's going to be gone. I mean, either way, I hope O'Brien's gone regardless. But... That's just where we sit right now. Moving forward, I, I'm not sure this team can win any games. And, again, they had their opportunities to win the game the third straight week. But, again, small problems, easy, easily correctable problems. Better coaching gets it done. Are the issues correctable? 100% they're 100% correctable but that's not the issue the issue is can O'Brien correct them and honestly I don't think so man I mean the same things from week one from week two happened here in week three you would think that this week would be different but it's not at this point, I just think the team is what it is. Just not good. Talented? 100%. 100%. If, if, if this team's firing on all cylinders, they can beat anyone without a doubt in my mind because they are talented. But they're just not getting it done and it is not on the players, man. It, it's not on the players. It's on coaching look Romeo Cornell had a great 
halftime adjustment for the defense. Did they struggle at the start? Definitely. But it's kind of hard to blame them when your offense is constantly going three and out, three and out, three and out, three and out, three and out. Thanks to that buffoon with a butt chin, Bill O'Brien. I mean, last week, I was pissed. Th this week, I'm just, I guess, defeated. There was high expectations coming into the season, but here we are, late September, season already over. It, it sucks, but it is what it is. It's not on the Sean guys. It's not on the line. It's 100% Bill O'Brien. He's got to go. You know, as a fan, I wish they could turn it around, but I just don't see that happening. I think what we have is what we have is what we're going to have to deal with moving forward. I think the season's 100% lost. I mean, O'Brien can't redeem himself. Unless, you know, somehow the team busts out with a crazy win streak. But, come on, let's be real. That's not going to happen. So, O'Brien, you're gone.